Hey everybody, we're back today with another commuter. No, that's not what it's called. It's called a bike commuter, commuter bike challenge. Yes, we are back today with another commuter bike challenge. We've done a couple of these in the past. The goal is to help you decide what's the best bike for your bike commute. This isn't about brands, it's about styles of bikes. First one we ever did, we compared a road bike, a mountain bike, and a city bike. Two weeks ago we did a road bike, a city bike, and an electric bike. And today, the new factor is a single speed bike. So here's how it works. Basically, I ride three different kinds of bikes on the same route. It's basically my daily commute, and I track it on Strava so I can find out all the stats, and then we compare the data, and I share some of my thoughts about each of the bikes, and hopefully that will give you some information to help you make a good choice in your bike life. Here they are. I've got the stats. So I'll tell you all the numbers, and then we'll talk about them after. So we will start with the road bike. So the road bike obviously is the fastest bike. Uh, I rode them in the morning and in the evening commutes. So the distance for all these rides was basically the same, about 11 and a half kilometers on the road bike. Here are the stats. In the morning it took me uh, 30 minutes, 21 seconds for an average speed of 22.6 kilometers per hour and a top speed of 43.9 kilometers an hour. On the evening ride on the way home, 28 minutes, 44 seconds, 23.4 kilometers an hour as an average speed and a top speed of 43.2 for a total of 59 minutes and five seconds. So it's a total commuting time of just under an hour on the road bike. So keep that in mind, we'll come back to it a bit later. And now on the three-speed cruiser bike, I call it a cruiser bike, it's like an urban bike. It's the bike I ride all the time. Got a three-speed internal hub, foot brakes, really simple, really easy. Here are the numbers. So in the morning commute, uh, it took me 33 minutes, 44 seconds, average speed of 20.2 kilometers an hour, and a top speed of 42.1 kilometers an hour. In the evening, the numbers are uh, 33 minutes 17 seconds average speed exactly the same 20.2 kilometers per hour and top speed of 43.9 for a total of one hour seven minutes and one second so about seven minutes slower than the road bike which is expected the road bike is a lot faster it's got many more gears it's lightweight it's athletic it's fast it's more of a workout for sure now just a quick point of clarification this is a single speed bike it is not a fixed gear bike there's a little bit of a difference between the two so a single speed unlike a fixed gear bike has a free wheel on the back so a fixed gear you always have to be pedaling because the chain is directly attached to the to the drivetrain i guess so you always have to be pedaling single speed is just like a regular bike but it only has one speed there's no derailleur there's no shifters nothing like that it's just one speed here are the numbers average time in the morning 31 minutes four seconds average Average speed 21.9 kilometers an hour, max speed of 39.6 kilometers. The evening ride home 30 minutes 7 seconds, average speed of 21.6 kilometers per hour, and a max speed of 42.1 for a total of 1 hour 1 minute and 11 seconds. Just to recap, road bike 59 minutes 5 seconds, 3 speed cruiser bike 1 hour 7 minutes and 1 second, and the single speed one hour, one minute, and 11 seconds. I was kind of surprised by this. Do you see that? So the single speed is actually quite a bit faster than the three speed. It's actually almost as fast as the road bike, which makes no sense, right? Isn't the logic, the more, the more gears you have, the more efficient you are, and the faster you go? Well, that was not the case here, which is very interesting, isn't it? So I have a theory. If you've ever ridden a single speed, there's a few factors around it. One of them is the gear ratios. You, you kind of have a speed that you're set, like a default speed. So when you're riding a single speed, here's what I found with this one anyway, is as you ride, you get your bike up to the most comfortable pedaling cadence, which gets you up to a certain speed. And on this particular bike, the cadence is a little bit higher than uh, might be comfortable with. And what that does is it gets your speed up a little more without even thinking about it. And so I actually found myself riding a bit faster than I normally would. On the three speed, when you get to a certain point, if it's too hard, you just gear down. But you can't do that in a single speed. So what you do is pick up your pace. It actually sort of forces you to ride a little bit faster. I kind of expected that. I didn't expect it to be almost as fast as the uh, road bike, however. So if one of the factors that goes into your commute is speed, you might actually want to consider a single speed. There are other advantages too, and this is why I wanted to test the single speed in the first place. Uh, there's something really nice about this, the simplicity of a single speed bike. 
Um, you can have one for years and never need any maintenance. Uh, there's no derailleur. There's no shifters to go out of whack. There's no cables to go out of whack. All you do is you get on and ride. Something beautiful in the simplicity of a single speed bike. In those regards, I really enjoyed riding the single speed to, uh, on my commute this way too. However, there's a however. If your commute involves a lot of hills, eh, single speed might not be the best. You may need to gear down to get up those hills. If it's a really long distance, you know, ugh, you might just not want that. You might want a little bit of variety in your ride. So it does take a little bit of practice, a little bit of thought going into it, but there is a lot to like about the single speed. Which brings me to another factor, that's the sweat factor. I always look at this when we're doing these commute challenges, is how much sweat did I generate on my ride? Because having to deal with the sweat when you get to work is never an easy or fun thing. So on my road bike, I sweat a lot. It was a workout, I was pedaling hard, uh, going forward, and I needed a shower when I arrived. The three-speed cruiser bike is such an easy, laid-back experience that just did not sweat when things start. I felt when I started working out too much or exercising too much and I could feel the sweat coming on, I just shift down, take it easy, relax a bit more. Single speed, more like a road bike. Uh, you don't have a lot of, you have no options. You have one gear, you have no options for shifting. So I did sweat a bit more than I expected. So that is a factor to consider as well. It is a bit more exercise. It's more of a workout than uh, a three-speed cruiser bike. So that's something to think about. To recap, if you're considering a single speed bike for your commute, if you're living in uh, an area that's relatively close, this was a 11 kilometer route, I'd say if it's a pretty flat commute, that would be good. Then you should take a look at a single speed. You know, they're affordable and they're really easy to ride. They're really comfortable, they're really fun. If this speed and efficiency is uh, something you're after, uh, don't, don't automatically discount the single speed. It is worth a consideration. So that's it. Hope that was helpful. Hope that helps you make some bike commute decisions. And like I said, at the end of all these videos, it doesn't matter which bike you choose, choose one that works for you. It's better than driving your car. It'll make your life better. See you next time.